Hey everyone, I am Steve from GamersNexus.net and I am joined by Matt Green from Logitech. And today we, we just did a pretty cool tour of the entire Logitech acoustics facility. Mm -hmm. So behind us, behind this closed door, we've got an anechoic chamber, which is uh, actually somewhat disorienting being in there. It's a little bit weird, but could you, could you give us an overview of what it is, what its purpose is? Sure. So... An anechoic chamber is basically a room designed for measuring sound. And you can't just measure sound in any room because the walls and the floor and the ceiling and all the objects in the room will reflect the sound back at you. And what you end up measuring is more of a measurement of the room than the speaker or the headphone or whatever it is you're trying to measure. So we build an anechoic chamber, which is isolated from the outside world. Uh, it has its own foundation separate from the building. It's got a spring bed on the ground to uh, isolate it from vibration. And then inside of the room, the entire room is covered with four foot deep foam wedges. And what those do is absorb sound. So if I speak in that room, my voice goes out and gets absorbed into the wall and doesn't bounce back. And, and that's a bit why you can feel a little weird in there <laughs> because you're used to having echo around you. Um, but it allows us to put a product in there and measure it and just measure what it's doing without any reflections. And you have a, a special dummy in there named HATS. Uh, what, is, what does HATS stand for again? Yeah, HATS stands for Head and Torso Simulator. And he's basically a mannequin built to simulate us, our ears, our torsos so that we can put a headphone on him and measure how that headphone will perform in a real life situation as if it were on a person. Very cool. So the anechoic chamber is something that uh, we, we did get to see earlier and there's some B-roll of it, like you said, sprainy floor. Mm -hmm. And it's it's all very interesting. I think for, for this, you kind of have to be there to understand just how much sound it actually does absorb. The other thing we were looking at was the new driver for the new headsets, yeah. which have just launched, or been announced rather. So what can you tell me about the Pro-G driver? Why is it different than the previous drivers? Okay. Um, for Artemis Spectrum, we really wanted to bring up the performance of the audio. And you got to start at the heart of the system, which is the driver. And so for the Pro-G driver, we focused a lot on what we call the diaphragm. And that's basically the material in the front that moves and vibrates to create sound. Um, you need a really light material because it has to be easy to move and yet light materials are not very strong and so they can bend and when when it bends you get distortion and eventually the sound quits being accurate and, and eventually quits coming out altogether because it's bending so much it can't push air forward and so the engineering behind the Pro-G driver was really taking the material that's usually just kind of a sheet stamped out in plastic and weaving it instead so that you have a cone now that's just as light, but it's, it's better able to move without breaking up and bending and crackling and distorting. And there was, in the demo, one of the things we saw was a sort of playback of the speakers and drivers in action and there was on the screen there was a video showing how the driver responded to the different I guess outputs mm -hmm. what, what was it we were looking at there yeah so that's a picture that gets put together when we put a laser on the driver and observe its behavior and the laser can piece together how it's moving so when it's all moving up and down uniformly that's nice that sounds good it sounds correct when it starts to rock back and forth or even ripple like waves if you were to splash in water right. um, that's bad that's when there's distortion and the sound isn't coming out properly and so what you saw was that when the laser scanned a traditional headphone driver it's not very uniform when you go high in frequency but with the pro g driver it remains much more uniform as you go high in frequency so the, all the detail and the clarity from the Pro-G driver is much better than from a traditional driver. What sorts of things go into the engineering of that, uh, that particular test? What are you trying to do to resolve it so that it's more uniform in the driver movement? Well, we need to study material properties and understand how materials will behave. Um, we need to understand 
the, the physics behind how the driver will move. And then we need to understand how the motion translates into sound waves. And so it's, it's a lot of steps along the way. Some of it we model, some of it we just build and measure, but we need to be able to piece it all together. Very cool stuff. So the, the new headset, give us, can you walk us through quickly the MSRP and the, the two new models? Yes. So Artemis Spectrum has the G633 model, which is a wired version, which will sell for 149 in the US. And then the G933 is the wireless version, which will sell for 199 in the US. So that is the new Logitech hardware and a quick look at some of the labs that we walked through for a more detailed look at everything, hit the link in the description below. And we've got all the photos and other video that may be of interest to you. Thanks again for your time. Thank you. And we will see you all next time.